So William, first of all, congratulations. How do, you. how do you feel? Uh, obviously I'm thrilled. Uh, I'm thrilled that for the third time uh, the people in my home area have put their trust in me and uh, sent me to Parliament as their representative. Does it make it even better that it is the third time, you know, it's consistent, you, 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 are keep, you, you, keep, you keep on doing this? Yeah, I mean, it's third time lucky or something, or whatever, I'm sure, but um, no, it's to have had um, three elections in the space of time that originally there should have been one, it's been quite intense. And I'm hoping now with an overall majority in the country we can go a full term uh, and really start powering on and, and delivering for people locally. Was you always confident that you could get this win? I'm quietly confident I mean, we could win, but I never take anything for granted. Obviously the seat has uh, been in, in different hands uh, over the last few decades uh, and I'm, I'm very fortunate that it's um, put its trust in me again and, and with the Conservatives. And it, I suppose it's pleasing to beat that competition uh, from, from your rivals, I suppose. Yep, it's, it's, it is. I'm also, but I'm also conscious, and it might sound trite, but you know, there have been uh, a number of um, colleagues of mine, not, not just from my own party, but from, from other parties who've lost their seats, who I've worked closely with. And so I think uh, in politics you have to take the, the rough with the smooth, but I, I, I do feel for them. What's next for you in, in uh, Hazel Grove? Well, I'm hoping that we're going to get back down to Westminster next week, uh, uh, as it were, to coin a phrase, get Brexit done, as we've heard a lot during this campaign, and that will mean uh, legislating for the withdrawal agreement uh, and getting that done by the, uh, the end of January. In terms of the national picture, it's looking like a great night for the Conservatives. How would you sum up tonight? I'd sum up tonight as uh, using uh, a very old phrase that Winston Churchill's father used uh, when he was a uh, Member of Parliament, and that was to trust the people. Um, the people have placed their trust in us to deliver the referendum results and collectively uh, Parliament and politicians have failed them. I think this evening was the reckoning for that. But there's an overwhelming desire I believe out there whether people voted leave or to remain for us to be able to move on and that's what I'm looking forward to the country doing. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.